G'day everyone, this is my EcoFlow River. I've made a couple of videos about this in the past. In this video, I'm going to show you how to double the storage capacity of it by adding a second battery to it. I'm reviewing my drink bottle. Coleman Camp Stove. Deeper Chirp Plus EcoFlow River. This Helinox Perrin 2 Arkfeld UV. An electric hand warmer. Now the EcoFlow River has two power points, a heap of USB and USB-C, a cigarette lighter plug, and a little light. But it's maximum 600 watt output, and it's got a capacity of 288 kilowatt hours. Now, I'm gonna double that capacity by adding this other battery on, and that'll take it to 576 kilowatt hours. It'll still only be 600 watt output, but it'll have twice as much storage, which means it'll power everything for twice as long. Now, I'm gonna film this video with the camera pointed down on what I'm doing, and I'm gonna do it in one take, no takes, because I am an absolute weirdo when it comes to anything related to tools. Robbie plus screwdrivers equals disaster. So if I can do this, anyone can do it. If I can do this, Mr. Magoo can do it. And if I make this look easy, then I can guarantee that it actually is. I believe all that I have to do is undo these four screws, take the cap off, put the battery on, then put the cap back on the bottom, and with longer screws to go through the battery and into the unit. I believe that's all there is to it. Anyway, Let's get started and see how easy it is. And then I'm gonna tell you where I've been using this. And I've got a couple of things to tell you about this that might just blow you away. I've been using this to see how much power things use. And I've really been shocked at some of the things that I've found. But first of all, let's put the battery on. One take, no editing. Rightio, let's go, unedited. The first thing I wanna do is turn the unit off. It's got 85%. It says it's still got 99 hours remaining, and that's because nothing's running on it. If I started plugging things in, it'd come down. But anyway, 85%, let's turn that off. Off. I believe this has some kind of a screwdriver in it for taking the screws out, but I've brought a couple of my own, just in case it hasn't. A flat head and a Phillips head. And I don't even know if that's the right size, but I think it's the only one I've got. I'm seriously not a handyman at all. Let's get into the box. I'm trying not to make this drag on too long because it's going to be unedited. Right, so what's in the box? Another box. That's the battery, that's what it's going to look like. Just a big long flat thing that sits underneath that. <coughs> there we go. That's uh. I think that'll have the screws in it that I need. And there's the battery. Now these, these six connectors will have something to connect to underneath. Gee, that's heavy. This will make the EcoFlow River quite a bit heavier than what it actually, what it already is. Naturally, it's gonna be twice the size. Some instructions, we all know that real men don't need instructions. Right, I oh, hear four screws and a screwdriver. Beauty. Ah, uh, where'd I put that box? I'll leave them in there for now, but I'll get the screwdriver out. Right, the unit's off. Let's get to work. Now remember, if I make this look easy, then it is easy. God gave me some wonderful gifts, but uh, using tools and handyman stuff isn't one of them. <laughs> I don't know whether they're off or not. Oh, there's a bit of sticky tape on there. There's a bit of tape on here that's probably been on there since I first bought it. I'll take all that off. What about this side? No. Right, here we go. This one mustn't be undone properly. I'm going to do this one a little bit more, then out she comes. Got it! 
Well, here there's the six holes. I will I'll show you. You can see the little bits there. Pretty self-explanatory, really. That will have to go on that way. It's the only way it can go on. It's on smug as a bug in a rug. Now I've got to take these screws out. And put this back on. Then put the new screws in. And that should be it. Now I'll do them up diagonally. One thing I do remember from tech school is that when you tighten things, you don't tighten everything together. If it's round, you don't tighten that, 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 that. You go diagonally and try and keep the pressure even. I actually went to a technical school, a Wingrader Tech School. It was a great school. And I done really well at uh, maths and science and English and drama, photography. But terrible at all the actual trades. I won't tighten them up too much because that'd be dumb. But I want to tighten them up enough. Right, the moment of truth. This is now a River Max. So it's the AK Flow River, but instead of 288 kilowatt hours, it should have 576. Let's turn it on and see. Yes, it came on, and you can see there's a light here. It's now saying 57%. Remember it was 85%. Let's drop that down now to 57% because it's still got the original 85% that was in there plus some of this percent that was in there. That obviously wasn't fully charged. That is so cool. I'm so happy. I can't wait to use this. Now, folks, I haven't got phone service where I am now, but you can go into the app. One thing I do know, you can go into the EcoFlow app and update it and connect to this, and you get controls over these lights. You can have it flashing sideways, flashing on and off, flashing different colours, or you can just turn it off if you don't want it to look like you're at a disco. But that's all there is to it. That's how you install the EcoFlow battery. Now, I'm going to put the camera back up on my face and I'm going to tell you a few really cool things that I've found simply by using my EcoFlow and some of the ways that I've been using it lately. And a couple of things I'm going to tell you might shock you. I am absolutely stoked with that. I've just doubled its capacity from 288 to 576 watt hours. That's over half a kilowatt. The current price of electricity well, my, from my service provider is 39 cents per kilowatt. So that gives this round about 22 cents each time it's filled. That doesn't sound like much, but I'm going to grab my phone and I'm going to crunch a few numbers and show you what I've worked out just lately. Now before I crunch the numbers and show you what I discovered with my EcoFlow, I just want to say that for the last four to six weeks I've been charging all of my devices off my EcoFlow. DJI action camera batteries, mobile phones, my tablet at home, I've got a Samsung tablet, my hand warmer, which is also a power pack. I've been charging power packs of an evening as well, and I've been charging them all off my EcoFlow. Even the batteries in this Sony A7 IV camera that I'm filming with now get charged from my EcoFlow. And during the day, I sit it outside with the solar panels and recharge it. And if I'm going out like I am today, I charge it off the cigarette lighter of my car. If it gets dull and we get a rainy day, I can plug it into the wall and top it up if I need to. I've got a little wooden cabinet at home. I bought a special little cabinet. It's got a little red lamp on it that runs also from the EcoFlow. It draws 7 watts. And that runs from the EcoFlow and all my charger cables and everything are under there. And then I just charge things as I need them. So for the last 4 to 6 weeks, I actually haven't charged anything off the grid. I haven't uh, any of my devices off the grid. They've all been charged either from solar or from power generated from my car through my EcoFlow. Now, that hasn't saved me a lot of money. It works out about 12 cents a day. But there's something really cool about knowing that, you're, uh, that I'm getting power from the sun, which is renewable and there forever. And no matter how much the, the price of, of power goes up, I can still, um, still charge from the sun. But anyway, this is what I discovered. I woke up one morning about six weeks ago to an email from my power company to say it's going up 20%. So I thought... I'm going to use my EcoFlow and go around and plug heaps of things in and see if I can work out where the power is draining. My modem, when it's on, my NBN modem, it runs, it pulls 14 watts. The whole time it's on, it just sits on a pretty stable 14 watts. My computer, my editing computer, when it's off, 
it draws six watts of power. When it's on and I'm editing videos, it can be anywhere around 100 to 150 watts. But while it's off, it's still leaking six watts of power. And my TV and accessories, because there's a Blu-ray player, an Optus fetch top box and a sound bar all plugged into the same mother, the same power board and the television. So we'll call it the TV and accessories. That drains 35 watts of power. So between, so 35, 6 and 14, between the TV, the computer and the modem, I'm draining 55 watts of power per hour when they're all off except the modem. So let's crunch some numbers. 55 watts per hour, multiply that by 24 hours in the day, is 1,320 watts or 1.3 kilowatts. Now, 1.3 kilowatts times 365 days of the year is 475, sorry, 474.5 kilowatts per year. Now, at 39 cents a kilowatt, 474.5 times 39 cents is $185. So I'm using $185 electricity a year, just leaving everything turned on. So the old-fashioned way that they, uh, my grandparents used to do at the end of the day, go and switch everything off. Now... $185, that's 24-7. You know, we like to have the TV on of an evening and we like to use power during the day, but night time when you go to bed or when you go to work or go out on a fishing trip, turn everything off. And I estimate I'm going to save about $100 a year just by turning everything off. Thank you, EcoFlow, for pointing that out for me. <laughs> Folks, there will be links to this, this, and everything else that I've used in this video in the video description below. Thank you all very much for watching. I hope you found this video informative and maybe a little bit entertaining. I'm going to put this on the floor of the car now and charge it off as I continue off on my adventure out in the bush. Thank you all very much for watching.